Every so right now we're watching the AMD live stream event where uh, AMD are for gamers who want announcing their new uh, GPU. So we've just uh, just missed one with recording, but um, this is the highest the end, I think. Fastest card under two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars, two gig DDR, and apparently very good. I'll bring this up. Fantastic performance with all the bells <coughs> and whistles of 1080p. Oh, okay. And the R9 280X. Three gigabytes of memory. Fastest card under $300. With a 6800 in Fire Strike. Wow. Designed for pretty good. 1440p game. And three gigabytes of memory. Great for Battlefield. I'm cool. thinking that this would be equivalent to about a 7870, finally, maybe a 7950. Our most powerful GPU ever. The AMD Radeon R9 290X. It's the single most powerful graphics chip we've ever built. Can't wait to have two. It's a stunning of them on board. car. A new heat sink and shroud. Looks pretty cool. And it performs incredibly. Four gigabytes of memory. Swipe up. Here. I talked four about gig. Ultra HD. Wow. Before. Okay. If you're gonna play in 4K, you need four gigabytes. Cool. And now, finally, I have a special announcement. Oh. We're very excited to announce. There will be an exclusive pre-order, limited quantities nice. for AMD Radeon R9 290X. So guys, if you need a new graphics card, I would definitely wait until this stuff, this is available this for stuff comes out because select like, starting this is awesome. Um, so basically they have about five new cards coming out. Um, awesome. they, have, they have a very short and card which is, is going to be sort of 7, 77, 70 range and they build up. The only thing is that basically what they're doing is changing the naming scheme. So if you have an R7, it's a kind of low end. If you have an R8, it's kind of mid range. And if you have an R9, it's very good, um, like top end. This is the first time that game consoles and the PC have really come together in this way. If you want to check out this uh, live stream, um, this obviously won't be up. This will be up after the live stream, but uh, we, the link to the YouTube video will be in the description. So if you want to watch the whole video, then check out the link that will be in the description below. Um, but as you can see, the 290X, so the R9 290X, is the highest end graphics card. It has an 8 pin and a 6 pin PCI power. It's PCI, PCIe 3, has 4 gig of memory, and is designed for 4K gaming. Um, now, I'm not sure, we're going to watch a little bit more, and then I might cut out the rest later. Um, depending on what they announce otherwise, but also remember that if you want to buy a new card, I definitely stick around because the new AMD bridge is going to be launched very shortly. I'd, I'd guess before the end of before Christmas, the next range, um, this range will be out. So, good I'm Christmas present. I'm responsible for the hardware and software engineering teams back at AMD that are involved in creating some of the incredible technologies that are part of the R9-290 series that you'll be experiencing today. First off, you know, welcome everyone. I'm really, really g glad to be here with all of you to talk about the incredibly powerful GPUs that Matt just introduced. I'll get to the details that you all are eagerly awaiting for fast. So they are three fundamental technology pillars. Okay, so basically I'm gonna I'm gonna pause this here because I don't really want to just completely rip off the whole video and get towed off quite badly um, by YouTube. So basically I'm gonna sum up the event so far. Five cards. R7 is a low end 770 sort of range. R8 is mid-range, so 78, 50, 78, 70, sort of range, there's only one card in that range though, I think. And then there's the R9, there's three cards in that range, the 270, the 280, and the 290X. Um, all of those are X's, by the way. <coughs> Sorry. And um, also, they're all designed for higher level gaming, so the 290X, there will be a special edition with Battlefield 3, 
uh, uh, sorry, Battlefield 4 coming out. Um, the open base for Battlefield 4 is coming in a couple of weeks as well, so check that out. And okay, it's kind of changing as well as we go. Uh, and also, the 290X is a 4 gig uh, R9 290X is a 4 gig card uh, designed for 4K gaming. It has enough power to drive a 4K display uh, effectively. Uh, and basically, what they're saying is one gig per 1080p effectively, because 4K is four times 1080p. Uh, the the other iterations under that. So the R9 to ATX is designed for 1440p gaming, so you know 20, uh, 2560 by 1440 uh, single monitor gaming. Although you can push the card and split maybe three 2560 screens like you could with a 7970. And also, if you have, for example, a R9 290X, you might be able to play maybe Infinity with four, uh, three. 4K displays. That would be pretty awesome, and I'd really like to see a benchmark of that. So, if AMD, if you want to send us a a review sample of any of the cards, let us know. The email is always in the description, and I think the playlist just died. <laughs> uh, but otherwise, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. If you like this type of video, then don't forget to hit the like button. If you didn't like it, hit the dislike button. Let us know why in the comments below. Otherwise, stick around for the weekly tech tomorrow. We'll be talking about this a little bit more, um, but probably in a little less detail because it's a bit quicker. Uh, but otherwise, see you next time.